Dolphins. Dolphins. Yay. Of course, they're by the fish farms. I bet they just rip right through those nets and just have a feast. We are on our final approach into Monastir, Tunisia. We had um, a lovely sail for the first 17 hours, and then we had to motor for the last 17 hours. Look at them. Woo! Oh, this is a lovely welcome. Look, honey, a bunch of debris there, floating. Yeah, we better, I'm gonna... Check out all the fish farms. What a nice welcome, huh? Yeah. So yeah, it was a pretty cool, uneventful trip. We had a great sailing for 17 hours, motoring for 17 hours, or less. I don't know. Let me see. What did it take us? Okay, wait. Who's driving the 30, boat? 30. Oh, 34. 34 hours? No. 32 hours. Something like that. Okay. Look at that line right there waiting to be snagged. Right. we got to keep our eyes open out here. It'd be fun if you want to leave at night. So there's a huge reef that comes out here miles long. How long, honey? Five miles? Seven miles? Yeah, several miles. No crossy. No cross at a reef. Gotta go around. And we'll be in here for we don't know how long. As long as it takes, I guess. It's like any other place. If we like it, we stay. <laughs> we have a... We heard that they like... What's it called? What's it called? Bakshish? Bakshish, which is like little, little tips. So we made these little coffee and sugar and chocolate and little surprises for the officials rather than giving them cash they said that they're lacking in coffee and sugar and sweets and chocolate so on the way over we heard several uh distress calls for immigrants in boats in distress didn't see any, but we heard it on the radio, checked the coordinates. They were all about 60 miles away from us. So we're happy that we didn't have to deal with any of that. And then we heard... There's one on the radio right now. Is there one on the radio right now? Oh my gosh. And then we heard that one guy saying, like what? That it's like all a scam or something, huh? Some people sure take advantage of other people. You know, They don't even have any intentions to take them anywhere except miles out to see. So we heard um, that they'll take all the money from these poor people that are trying to escape very hard life and then they'll get them on a boat, take them out to sea and then just leave them there. And then the Coast Guard comes, picks them up and takes them back to I guess like refugee camps or something, right? Something like that. Yeah. Nobody knows what to do about it exactly. I'm just glad we didn't come across anybody in thank, the water. Yeah, thank God we didn't come across any of these uh, shipwreck people because it'd be hard to decide what to do. We had talked it over and discussed things that we would do, like throwing everything that floats, of course, calling the Coast Guard. But then if you see kids in the water, you know you you're gonna fish them out and can't let anybody die out there then they want to confiscate your boat Ugh, it's just a mess anyway little uh i guess this is probably smog huh or do you think that's still saharan sand or maybe a little of both probably combination looks like pollution to me but i bet you there's sand in there too we got bombarded by Saharan sand for what 10 days 
It's in every nook and cranny in this boat. Yeah, right after we cleaned the boat. <laughs> yeah, we did. We cleaned it really good, scrubbed it really good, made it all pretty. Pressure wash. Pressure wash, and then <laughs> we woke up in the morning, and the dew had brought it all down, and we looked up through our hatch. We couldn't see out, and Eric said, did the birds dive bomb us, or did somebody throw up? It was horrible. Anyway, we're still working on it. Saharan sand everywhere. Just awful. It's in everything. So we did, we, we uh, conditioned all of our lines and then they got so stiff with sand and water. Uh, just anyway, always something to do on the boat. Always something to do. Eric's going to get the fenders ready so I can hang them up. We're going to go tie up and start our, our check-in procedure with the officials. I think we have to go to Coast Guard first, then Port Police, and then Harbor Master. I think that's the order. Anyway, they'll they'll let us know when we tie up. So, anyway, here we are, finally, Africa. I've never been. It's a first for me. All right, y'all. Love ya.